Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Where's the calcium equum again? In the evening hall, inside a chest. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in the crate and the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later. Mess with me and die.
What do you need? Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, He's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab, and the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try. But it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail. The mind sometimes, too, resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning-fast reflexes, reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. Quite a cut. And the last stage? I don't know the specifics. It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. 
When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. We'll talk later.